alive. If you wish. Be ready. Yep. Were they? Were they were? Were they? That's why it says live. Yeah, we we'll better say something then. I've got a feeling we're all being scammed. Who by? The government. Nah. Actually, no. I tell yeah. that back. Not the government. I don't believe it. Because if it was the government, then it would have to be part of the government. Whereas the DVLA is its own private corporation, nothing to do with the government. So it's not the government, although I'm sure they make a pretty penny out of it. Who is it then? DVLA. Scamming us? Yeah. In what way? Well. I don't believe you. I don't believe that's such a, such a um, reputable department. <laughs> Let's try to think of a nice word then. Well, it's actually the DVLA, Driver and, Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority. Agency. Agency, DVLA. Ah, oh, yeah, agency. Mm -hmm. So, if it's an agency, it's a private corporation. Right. So, the scam, where's the scam? Well, there's many scams. <laughs> Some of them are like, just because you didn't saw on your vehicle, even if it is off the road, they're going to fine you for it anyway. Yeah. Um. Just because you didn't tell them that you had it parked on yeah, the road. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I think one of the most despicable ones is when you come to buying and selling a cars. Or, or other motor vehicles, of course. No, that can't be a scam. Yeah, well, think about it. Well, go on then. How does it work out then? Say that <clears throat> this brand new car, yeah. it's taxed till the end of the year or whatever. Yeah. And you come to sell it. Now, once it's sold, and it's March the 10th or something like that, yeah, March 10th, mm -hmm. you come to sell it on March the 10th, you've still paid up to the end of the month, but any tax, any tax you want to claim back, you can only claim it up from the end of the month. So that, them days up so, to the end so of the April. month. So April? Yeah. Then, them days are gone. Lost. Missing. Right. Now, if you come and buy that car that you've just sold, you can't tax it from that point of when you bought it, or at the end of the month when you've paid till, you have to tax it from the beginning of the month. Does that mean they get paid twice? They're getting paid two full months when the maximum there's going to be one month's worth of usage out of it. How does that work out? Well, I did say it was a scam. So, if ten cars sell in one day, yeah, they're getting like. 20 lots of road tax for a month yeah for one car yeah wow that's some revenue that and we know cars are bought and sold thousands a day that's marks out of 10 that for uh ingenuity fantastic and, and trying to like slip it in while no one's watching yeah well think about it if they hadn't have no wanted to do this what they would have done and it wouldn't make perfect logic because it's the way it worked was that you sell the car your tax is valid to the end of the month because you're claiming it back from that point on mm -hmm. and whoever's bought the car, they tax it at the end of the month because then that's that's when it's the, the tax that you've already paid on it runs out. But So they knew what they were doing. But that'd be too easy, that, wouldn't it? Because if they did it that way, then think of all that money they'd lose. <laughs> that's the whole point. It's a scam. They're robbing us. I mean... It, just look at the uh, the latest thing that's come that's come out. That we the the British public have been overcharged two billion by energy companies. By the big six. Yeah. So wait maybe a minute. maybe they should add DVLA on the end of that and call them the big seven. Well, I'm sure that they're up there on that same sort of profit margin, if not more. Because don't forget, the DVLA they don't actually you pay them for everything and every bit of information. Where's they? Uh, like the energy companies, they alle allegedly supply something, but they've been ripping us off. It's like the, the fuel price, petrol, diesel at the moment. The price has dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And dropped. And it hasn't gone below, I mean, but the last one I see was 99.9 .9 for the for petrol and diesel. 97.9 by us. Well, yeah, you can, you can shop around, you can find it, but... It, the, the fuel prices has dropped and dropped and dropped, but they've nailed it at that 99.9 .9 or thereabouts. More scams. Being robbed left, right and centre. 
it's not good, is it? So how do you think we could solve this problem then? Because if you don't tax your car, they're going to tow the fucker away. Yeah. <clears throat> so what do you reckon we could do? Well, all we want is it to be fair. We'd not, we, we, we have minded fair. all this time. Fair. <laughs> are you joking? We have minded all this are time you, they've been ripping us off. Are you talking about the British government? Fair. <laughs> I don't think fair and the British government go in the same sentence. I agree, but to the majority that didn't know what was going on, they just wanted it to be fair. You know, okay. Yeah, so but they cloaked it with the, with the they cloaked the unfairness. This is how I seen it. Yeah, they cloaked the unfairness with the now you can pay monthly by direct debit. Yeah, and everybody yeah, went, yeah. wow, that's good of them, mm -hmm. yeah, that's excellent, that, now I can pay my, my road tax monthly by direct debit, but nobody really noticed that, really, what they were doing, they were just cloaking something, yeah, and, 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 well, I think a, a lot, you, while you, you, you thought you were getting a good deal, a lot more are starting to, um, realise it though, and see through that, which is it's great because that means more and more are becoming aware of the scams that we're all, we've all been suffering for a long, long time. Far too long. <coughs> it's not good. No. I think we should um, petition the government. Oh yeah, because that works. Yeah. Should we? Should we all untax our vehicles, the entire United Kingdom, and watch them try and tow every single car away? Well. That would work, except not everyone would do it. No, you'd probably get about 10% would go, yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, yeah. Still, it would cause them a hell, hell of a lot of problems, but then you're risking you losing your vehicle, aren't you? Did you see uh, Mary the other day? Yes, yes, she nice to see she's still hanging around. Yeah, yeah, I've seen she, uh, she, uh, she called me to a job she'd uh, been to. Yeah. Guess who that was? Um, go on. Well. They purported to be DVLA. Ah! Oh. <laughs> they had DVLA on the clamp, but guess who they were? Uh, Equita? No. A private corporation acting on behalf of DVLA. Can they not, can they not carry out their own dirty work? Have you ever noticed this? HMCTS, they send their little Marston army out. Yeah. Councils send their little Rosendales and Bristow and Sutter. Army out. And Equita, they use Equita, and Equita as well. And, and, and they all just seem to use all these little scrubs to go round, and why can't they do it themselves? Because they know they're breaking the law. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? So when the shit does it, the fan, when well, somebody gets fined... When it, somebody gets imprisoned... Yeah, or somebody has to pay back a hell of a lot of money, they're going to be sat there going, ha 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 ha! <laughs> you did it, not me. Well, that's why. But th that's why this is all going on at the moment. Because when this does go boom, and everyone realizes that every penny of council tax you have ever paid is actually due back to you with interest. I'm interested. Mm, well, are you interested? Oh, I'll definitely be interested. So I, I think it was just a big con when they said the you know let's let's introduce the direct debit. So everybody. Took their eye off the ball, really, didn't they? And well, it was also about the the, the uh, electric currency. They don't want cash. Yeah. Yeah, because then they can add more digits on the end. Well, you see, you don't need debt collection companies then, because they just go zip, and it's out your account like that. But anyway, this this DVLA turned up at this house. Apparently, Mary was telling me, um, because the person's direct debit <coughs> had uh, bounced at the end of the month. And on the, uh, I think it was the 5th, they were there collecting the vehicle. Well, that's quick work. But but I thought the, the procedure of a direct debit, under the direct debit guarantee, was if it bounced, they then attempted to take it another time. Seven days later. And if it didn't pass then... I think they still can t take it. No, 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 that's it then, they cancel it. Alright, oh, well... So what happened to the... Seven what, days? Well, well, did they just think, oh yeah, let's go make a quick buck here and we'll... They probably thought we can steal the car, mm. get that, that money well, off they can't them. can't property anyway, innit? We yeah, know yeah. that because of the logbook. Well, they can, yeah, but they can steal the car, 
Uh, hence it's not stealing because... Well, they're not stealing it, are they? Because it's their own car. Yeah, right. Because you signed up ownership of that car. Then there's every chance you're going to want it back, so you're going to have to pay your fine. Then you're going to want it back, so you're going to have to pay the impound fee. Oh, no, right oh no, 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 no. This was, the, this, this was the funny bit, yeah? This was the funny bit. The clamping company, they weren't asked about whether the road tax was paid or not. They just wanted a hundred pound. Yeah. For slapping the clamp on the car. They went, just tax your car online now. And and we'll just pay us hundred quid and we'll come take the clamp off. <coughs> but unfortunately, guess uh, we got there first. Mary. Mm. Apparently the 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 um the guy who owned the car, um he um rang up the clamping company because apparently the clamp was never ever on the car. Oh. I think what had happened is they got a few beers the night before. Thought we'd make ourselves a swift hundred in cash. No, I think they accidentally clumped the bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hang on. Oh, sorry, we've gone off. We're back, we're back. <laughs> I think they accidentally. Is that where they found it then, I'm guessing? Well, yeah, it was on the bin. It was attached to the bin, yeah. But. The clamping company were too scared to come out, so guess who they sent? The police? The private army. Oh, uh... The police. The police actually turned up while the clamp guy was round the corner crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, the clamp guy's round the corner crying, yeah. And the police turned up to take his clamp that he clamped to the bin. Do you know what it is? He sent the police because he professionally embarrassed himself by clamping the wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> the guy asked, the guy asked um, the clamping company, does my wheelie bin need tactic? Is that why you've clamped it? <laughs> <laughs> now that, that, that is quite amusing, that, isn't it? Yeah. But then he turned around and said, no, 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 no. Well, he said, so he says to him, well, is the padlock damaged? He says, no, mate, it's like brand new. He said, I'm looking at it now and there's no damage to it. He said, well, how's it got in the bin? He said, well, oh, you best ask your man that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm just, I'm just waiting for the footage of that to come. I've got the footage of the police taking the clamp off on uh, behalf of. With what? With his key? Oh, yeah, with his key, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I said, why didn't you just send Mary round? Mary would have took it back off for them. <sighs> you know? Isn't it funny how Mary just appears where she's wanted? That's why she's Have you called. seen the new one that's going round now, though? No. Have you not seen him? This one? Clump Jacker. No. You seen Phone Jacker? Well, Clump Jacker was out the other week. Did you not see him? No. Did you telling me you'd never seen Clump Jacker on Facebook? No. He was sat in the middle of a field on a couch with a, ch with a clump on the chair next to him and he's... Like his... Phone Jacker fucking thing on. No, I have other things to do. Oh. I thought you followed stuff like this, man. Yeah, you know what it is, this phone jacker, clamp Cl jacker. Clamp jacker. Stuff. Yeah, no, I've heard of the phone jacker thing and, yeah, it was... Well, clamp jacker's even funnier than phone jacker. It would need to be. <clears throat> well, it was quite funny. I think, I think clamp jacker... I'll have a look when I go in. It may work alongside Mary. Do you think they know each other? There's a possibility. I wonder. I was asked who Mary the clamp fairy is, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and I said... Mary is um, a bit like Batman. Yeah. Everybody thinks they know who he is, <laughs> but they don't actually. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He looks like, but he's not actually. Do you get what I mean? What What do you think of the? Um, just Just moving off from the the the, the clamps and. Whatever. What, what do you think of the um, the latest turn of events? Which ones? Well, there's multiple ones we could talk about, really, isn't there? Yeah, but you take your pick. Well, where do you want to start? The beginning's usually good. That nice sight that we don't like. They're still waffling on about us, you know. Why? What? You didn't say that name, did you, then? <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. I'd seen how he did that one then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I had seen how you did that one then. That was sneaky, that one. Hey. Sneaky. Oh. Sneaky. Ah, oh, dear. I've heard he's got a new name anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's that then? Well, I've heard the end of it goes, I am quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Have you heard the rumours? Oh. <clears throat> um, the site that we don't like on Facebook. Oh right, yeah. That was funnily shut down just about the same time. Yes, yeah. Well, conveniently shut down. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they didn't shut it down because of anything to do with um, the court case. They just thought it was time to wind it up. Yeah, that's, that's, that sounds perfectly plausible to me. <laughs> Do you believe it? <laughs> I don't. Not for a second. I was thinking about it the other day and I thought, isn't that a bit weird how they just wind it up just at that crucial moment? Well, obviously, they must have just decided time had come and um, it, it was probably suggested to him by one of his friends. Has he got friends? No, but you never... <laughs> I, I know someone that would stand up in court and be a friend. Maybe they suggested it. No, sorry about that everyone. Um, <clears throat> we got distracted. Yeah, someone decided to ring me. So... <clears throat> moving on. Moving on. Um, did, you, did you see... Um, do you know that other one? That other site? Yeah. The uh, the snooze site? Yeah. Yeah. They're all still churning on about the Mercedes Benz. What's up with them now? Well, what, what they're trying to tell me now is that they didn't fall for my story. Oh. Okay. Where I believe. I believe they were hook, line, and sinker, don't you? Well, it seemed very strange that, that some of them, on wherever they were, would actually pay to get information on certain number plates, wasn't it? You know, you didn't believe it that much, we paid to get them that information. And they went to the extreme of checking the registration numbers from JJ1 right the way up to JJ25. And they found one missing. Did they have to pay 25 yeah. times then? No, 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 no. What they did was the... Um, if you go onto DVLA's site to uh, purchase a number plate, you can actually check which plates are available. Mm -hmm. And what they've done is they've they've gone, boom, 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 boom. and then in the comments there was, I've checked from JJ1 up to JJ25, and there's only one missing. Which one was that then? But why would it bother you if it, if you weren't bothered? That's what I mean. Why would you go to all that extreme of, <sighs> of, of needing to um, find out whether the number plate was a genuine plate? Well, you wouldn't because obviously hey. you, didn't, you wouldn't get taken in in the first place. <laughs> Einstein on there noticed yeah, that the one and the three weren't actually a B. <laughs> he, 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 he caught me out. <laughs> It caught me out. <clears throat> they, they must not quite understand how the reg plate system works. No, they don't, do they? No, because they did, don't realise it screws you over. Because they are infatuated with you. Well, we already know that, Amanda. <laughs> we know they're infatuated with certain people. <clears throat> so what do you think the next course of action is that we'll do then? What do you think we should do next? I've heard there's a, uh, something going down. And it could be, could be. I've heard there's something going down in the hood. Yes, there, there's uh, there's stuff coming that only if you paid attention you'd know was coming. Oh, yeah. But I say they were all paying attention. Do you think they were? Hmm. Well, we're certainly attracting attention, that's for sure. Do you think so? What, on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. How many of them do you reckon are um, trolls? Are the trolls going to be nice enough and come forward and put a comment in there so we can see who you are? 
Yeah, but now anyone that puts a comment in, you will think it's a troll, and they might not be a troll. So you, no, 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 you, no, 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 no. You, you're, you're asking the question like a Sorry, lawyer. Let's, let's make this clear then. If you are a troll, please write, I am a troll. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's... Yeah, but what about those that just think it's funny to write that? Uh -huh. No, but what I was thinking was, do you know, they talk about honesty. <clears throat> so I was thinking they would honestly come forward. Benjamin, Benjamin, I live under a bridge. Oh, there you go then. Have you got a green face? But that's one thing you notice, they never put the real faces on there. <clears throat> yeah, I've noticed that, yeah. Did you see my stalker that I had? Which one? Well, I've had a few, but my most recent one. No. Do you not see him? The, uh... I'll tell, did... tell you what I have noticed about all these, uh... I'm a trolley. Does that count? <laughs> i tell you what I have noticed about all these. There's been a pattern of, of them all, yeah? Uh, <laughs> what are you laughing at? That, that comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's been a pattern of them, hasn't there? Because yes, yeah. you have, is it the arsonist that came to court? Yes. The cracker do come to court. Oh, sorry, the crack dealer. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't, I know you're not, yeah, I said that wrong, just to get it clarified, he was dealing crack, yeah, so the crack dealer, who, who also came to court as well, all the way from Manchester, yeah, I know what you mean, um, I think he's a, he's quite a, no, I'm not on about who you think, oh, okay, no, which one are you thinking of, <laughs> <laughs> hang on a minute now, <laughs> We've got to play. I go. We just got to play a little game here. Uh, one who's um, quite endeared to me. No, not about that one. I'm not about the one that's been following me on Facebook the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man! You could, you could have had us both in court then for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling that might be coming anyway. What, both of us? Well, not us, but uh, both of us. Well, I was thinking. So, you've got. You got him, the crack dealer. Well, yeah, so the crackhead. Ah, oh, see. So you got you got him, <clears throat> but they've all got like massive criminal records. Um, they've all got massive criminal records, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like horrendously worse than ours. Oh yeah, yeah. Like one of them tried to set fire to a house while there was like people in it I believe. Well, well mine, uh, mine was actually not guilty so yeah definitely worse than ours. And they're coming to court reporting on us. Mm. How does that work out? Well you see they're trying to play this, like, the double-edged sword pretend they're a good guy when in actual fact they're not. So maybe we should <clears throat> maybe we should uh, oh great lights Maybe we should do some uh, private investigating of our own. Hmm. And maybe unearth them. Track a few and down. Unearth them. Mm. And find out what we know about them. And then maybe we should set up our own site. Yeah. <laughs> Exposatroll.com. Yeah. Can, I, I can see all the trolls now dashing to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not obviously we're not going to tell them what the real name is that we're going to call it, are we? Uh, Do you think they're all checking now, see if it's still available? Do you think? Do you think they're all there now? <laughs> is that still available? <laughs> Shit, it's still available. Oh dear. <clears throat> Benjamin, <clears throat> some somebody just asked here now, Benjamin. The road tax scam is, as we explained before, um, if you own a vehicle and I own a vehicle, and me and you sell our vehicles, yeah, you pay the road tax to the end of the month, even though you don't own the vehicle. Um, <clears throat> if I purchase the vehicle from you, I pay from the beginning of the month. So, example, we're in the middle of March. If you sold me your car now, you would pay till the end of March. If I purchase your car, I pay from the beginning of March. Hence there, they're getting two lots of road tax for one vehicle. Surely that's got to be double dipping, that. Yeah. 
Surely yes. that's not lawful. No, it's definitely not lawful, but they don't work for the government, uh, but they are sanctioned by them. So, so if you took a test case to court, would it? Well, be interesting because uh, you'd take one of the MPs, wouldn't you? The one to do with it. Surely, surely, if you go to court though and you say, "Listen, this is unlawful," the, they're the ones that say, "Yeah, I'll, I'm doing this job. I take full responsibility." So it would be down to them to say that, or to prove that they weren't responsible. Mm. So Benjamin, do you get it now? It's the car that's taxed, yeah, but the car in effect is taxed twice. Uh, if it's sold mid-month and then if you work that out how many cars yeah yeah, yeah, you, do get... yeah you get a refund but you only get the refund say you sold the car now you don't get the refund from today or to tomorrow you get it from the end of the month yeah so you're missing this part of the month regardless and if whoever buys it now has to pay from the beginning of the month so they're getting it paid twice for that month two lots of road tax for one vehicle that's yeah. going on the same road it just happens to have a different name on the logbook. Some very, 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 very brainy politician. Mm. Mm. The, the, the book stops with them. So where were we before that? Oh yeah. Doesn't it doesn't seem right? Doesn't seem right. He says it doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> Does anything seem right? Uh, I mean, I mean, here's another one that gets me. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they don't do what they did with um, with fuel. What? Well... Rip us off? Yeah. What they did, they stuck VAT on it. Yeah, you know, yeah. And then they went, oh, right. VAT back then was only, what was it, 12% or something like that? I think it's all at 5%. <coughs> well, va 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 value-added theft. Yeah. So VAT, okay, so VAT was his example, say... What was it? Was it 12.5% at one time? I think it was down, it could, it could have been as low as 5%. Right, so anyway, they've put VAT on it, yeah, and they've thought, right. As low. <laughs> how can we scam some more money out of it? That's it, what we'll do. They'll put fuel duty on it. Mm. Yeah? So then they put fuel duty on it, yeah? So basically, just double taxing it, so they're double dipping again. Yeah? They've got a different name. Mm -hmm. So why didn't they call the, the road tax secondary road tax? Oh shit! I'm giving them ideas now. Aren't I? <laughs> secondary theft. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't work out right, does it? No, but it's you know you, we let them get away with it. So we need to do something about it. Yeah. But anyway, before we went on to that, what were we talking about? Oh, exposetroll.com. Oh yeah. Or dot net or expert mail. Trolls. <laughs> I'm sure there's already a trolls one out there. I bet you someone's sitting there now going <laughs> checking all these websites. Thanks for that, chaps. Have a good night over and out. Cheers, Benjamin. Cheers. So, what do you think we should do? Do you think we should? I think we should utilise our time. Do you like Stinson Hunter? Hmm. Yeah. Should we be the troll hunter? Hmm. Now that could prove interesting. Because, <clears throat> did you see that programme the other day on the telly? Yeah. Like they're literally making people's lives a misery. Yeah. I mean... So it wasn't <clears throat> that 14 year old girl killed herself over it? You only have to look at the, you know, what, what they were doing to it, well, what they're still doing to us. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do when we actually win this case? Uh, they'll say that the courts are fixed. <laughs> <laughs> like we said all along. <laughs> what they fixed in our favour? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> corrupt. Of course. Corrupt courts. So let's get this right. We've got justice in a corrupt court. Wow. It's strange, isn't it? When you look at it. But on a serious note, I think we should do a website, yeah? Yeah. Expose a troll. And on the front page, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you were thinking. I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking. I mean, you, you, there's just that many of them, yeah? You couldn't even have the month's biggest troll. Death 
Get Out of Debt Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.